Good morning, Mr. President. My name is Dr. Nicholas Fahed, Director of ECPR, the Extremely Classified Biological Engineer Research Team. Recent actions from state-sponsored terrorists within the Islamic Republic of Iran have threatened the security of the United States. At the request of the CIA Director, my team was asked to develop a deadly virus that can be used to threaten Iran and discourage them from starting World War III. In this presentation, I hope to show how the newly developed skeleton key virus can serve as a deterrent for rogue nations and a viable option for our country's national defense. The skeleton key virus is a genetically engineered viral hybrid with the characteristics found in both icosahedral animal viruses as well as the helical structures found in bacteriophages. The virus's structure features a naked capsid that carries within it a single-stranded DNA. This particular type of virus was engineered to maximize its deadliness in humans. The name skeleton key comes from the virus's ability to breach a host cell in many different ways. Much like a skeleton key serves as a master key that can open many different locks, the skeleton key virus has a structure that includes protein spike fibers around its naked capsid, like one you would find in an adenovirus. One lethal mutation present in the skeleton key virus is that it has different types of protein spikes that allow it to connect to different cellular protein receptors on the surface of a cell. This increases the likelihood that the virus can find a match and attach to the membrane of a host cell. Certain cells evolve modifications to their protein receptors in order to repel viral attachment and defend themselves. The skeleton key virus bypasses that by using its features that resemble a bacteriophage. The skeleton key has the ability to invert itself, hold itself firmly against the host cell's membrane using its tail fibers and injecting its genetic material directly into the cell using needle-like spikes. How will the virus be introduced within the population of Iran, you may ask? The viruses will be transported inside of warheads atop intercontinental ballistic missiles launched into Iran from U.S. military bases in Afghanistan and Iraq. Once a warhead detonates on its target, billions of skeleton key virus particles will be released into the atmosphere. Airborne particles will travel through the mouth and nose of victims during inhalation. Once inside the cell, the skeleton key virus immediately causes a lytic infection, taking advantage of the internal structures of the cell in order to trick it into replicating the viral genome within the host cell's nucleus. Replicated nucleic acids are then assembled with proteins within the cell to assemble new virus particles. These new virus particles are replicated until the cell membrane ruptures, destroying the host cell and releasing new viruses to look for new cells to attack. What cells are to be targeted by the attacking virus? The skeleton key virus targets the cells that line the respiratory airways, specifically the alveoli, which are the small air sacs in the lungs that allow oxygen and carbon dioxide to be exchanged with the blood. People who contract the virus will experience sharp or stabbing chest pain that gets worse and worse when they breathe deeply or cough. The persistent coughing will produce phlegm and bloody mucus. Victims will encounter very high fevers, shortness of breath, and dangerously shallow breathing. The skeleton key virus destroys the cells in the alveoli. The destruction of the alveoli blocks the oxygen transfer into the bloodstream and inevitably leads to respiratory failure. Once a person is infected, the virus is quickly transmitted between individuals. Community-based transmission of the skeleton key virus occurs when infected people cough or sneeze, releasing airborne droplets and secretions that carry the virus particles. Mr. President, our tireless work in the lab has produced what we believe to be the deadliest virus known to mankind. But don't take my word for it. Let's hear from world-renowned microbiologist Dr. I. N. Stein. <clears throat> Thank you, Dr. Fahet. In my 40 years as a microbiologist, I have never seen a more lethal and contagious virus. All who come in contact with the skeleton key virus will surely die. 
Wow. Thank you, Dr. Einstein. So, as you see, Mr. President, our country now holds the deadliest virus known to man. Not so that we could use it in war, but so that we can ensure peace among nations. Thank you.